almost all cases, except for early on, the ivory was being exported out of a different country from where it was poached, which means that, you know, the poachers are on foot and they only have as much ivory as they can carry. And middlemen were going, buying the ivory, moving it up to a neighboring country where it was being consolidated by these big transnational criminal organizations that I'll call TCOs and being shipped out of the country. And so though it was those TCOs that we believe were the choke point in the trade, if you can, because, you know, once the, the, the transnational criminal organizations moving contraband tend to move these large shipments on ships in, um, you know, at, at containerized on ships as marine cargo. And 70% of the world's products are moved on ships. So there's literally a billion containers uh, moved around the world each year. So if you are a transnational criminal, all you got to do is get your consignment through customs into transit and you pretty much got it made. It's so hard to trace it once th that happens. To be a, uh, a poaching hotspot, you have to be a big area with a huge number of elephants so you can keep going back to them over and over again. So, for example, the biggest hotspot that we saw was in the Salu Game Reserve in southern um, Tanzania, which is 55,000 square kilometers. It's the largest protected area in Africa. And the poachers operating in there know that area very well because they, they grew up there. And, and trying to find those poachers in an area of that size is extremely difficult. And then when you do find them, they only have as many tusks as they can carry. So it's not a very big haul. And there's plenty of other poachers that can replace them. you can stop the trade at where the ivory is being consolidated and exported out of the country, those are really the key players that you need to get. They're the choke point. And our work has shown that they have been operating for decades. They are the people that the poachers depend on to buy their ivory. So if you can get them, you can break the whole trade. These TCOs are very few in number. There may be as few as one in a given country. And when you look at the movement from Tanzania to, to uh, Kenya to Uganda and all the connections between them, it may be that it's really one big organization that's driving the whole thing or three independent ones that are so tightly connected they're operating as one. These shipments are typically being investigated by law enforcement independent of one another. And we show now they're connected. So now investigators can combine evidence from multiple investigations and strengthen their, their case. That's the first very important thing, especially when you get to things like you're trying to look at financial, um, inter, inter, um, financial transactions that were used to move the shipment. Um, you can go and, and by seeing the size of the network and how many connections you are, the web of connections you can search for are much, much greater. And ultimately that gets right down to the bank accounts of these major criminals moving them. They just want to get it to prosecution and then say, look, we did a great job. Boom, we got these guys. But that is a, a whack-a-mole problem because you're not really getting at the big network moving them and you end up getting low level people that are involved with that, that you can connect to the shipment, not the big guy. And, and what we're trying to do is change that investigation so that when a seizure is made, that's not considered the end, that's considered the beginning. Dans les pattes, l'acquisition de 300 armes de pointe et de munitions. 
opérationnalisé dans le cadre de la surveillance aérienne des parcs de la partie septentrionale du pays. I still grappling with a litany of difficulties and have recorded a number of... That also stops the poaching because the poachers depend on that guy who has been, again, operating for decades to be there to buy their ivory. How do I know they've been operating for decades? Because we have seizures made in 2005 that has a, tu that has a tusk that matches, um, has several tusks that match close relatives in a seizure made as far away as 2019. Same guys there over and over again. And these are protected individuals in these countries. They, they're very well connected and, and they are the ones that we really need to get. With an appropriation of CFA 125 billion, less than a year to its end, we wish to point out that the in